Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Have you ever just wondered if you were too hard on a bourbon before? You sit on a throne of lies. Look, I'm not kidding. You're a fake. I'm a fake? Yes. How'd you like to be dead? Huh? So, a few weeks back, I opened this World of Whiskey Society 15 year samurai, let me straighten up his head, bottle <clears throat> that cost me $299 plus another $30 tax, so $330. Bucks. And I thought, this is going to have to be some special juice. You know, I'm thinking it's got all the things, it's got all the tater stuff that I like on it. Found out I didn't really like it so much. So, I've got some ideas for this bottle, but I decided let me go back and let me see if there's really, if it's unsalvageable and, and maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me. Maybe I expected, you know, I don't know, someone to pop out of a birthday cake and unicorns or whatever, and it just didn't happen. So <clears throat> I said, what can I do? I happened to be visiting my daughter a couple weeks ago, old Overholt here. 114 proof rye whiskey, $7.80. And I said, huh, certainly it can't be better than a $300 whiskey, <clears throat> even though I thought this was hot garbage, but I digress. So I said, let's put them together. $300 whiskey versus $7.80. Because $7 I don't pay tax when I'm at the Class 6. So let's see which one's coming out the best on this. Worst case scenario is I just show how much of a fool I made out of myself, or maybe I found a good $7.80 rye, or, yeah, I don't even want to talk about that one anymore. But let me get into these two and try them out. I've never had the old Overholt. Um, Jesus, Bloody 81, had actually sent me some pictures where he had picked up some, and I just happened to be in town um, on post at my daughter's. And I said, let me try this out. You know, it's all I know is that it's 114 proof rye. It's at least four years old. Um, it's got some very nice viscosity on the glass right there. It's got a good rye nose on it. Getting a little bit of ethanol on there. Getting some of the rice spice coming off of it, getting some of the caramel coming off of it, getting a little bit of an herbal note coming off of it. And I swear, I, I don't know if I'm, I'm just twinning uh, with my buddy at Troy over at Baker Drinks, but I've been getting a lot of the pink bubblegum notes lately. <clears throat> I noticed he had one on his the other day. I'm getting on this. And I mean, I, this is a very oily rye for 114 proof. I'm actually pretty uh, pretty impressed for seven dollars and eighty cents. It's got some oils and a bit of a nose to it. Coming back on this, I'm getting some oak on this. It just doesn't have a great smell to it. I do get some rye notes off of this, But coming in for the nose on the old Overholt, I'm getting actually a better nose on this. So that's pretty damning right there. So let me go into this $300 one first and let's see what we got. World Whiskey Society, 15 year, punishing myself twice, but I will not be punished alone. I promise you on this. I mean, it just, this really doesn't do a whole lot for me. It's got a decent mouthfeel. You get a little bit of sweet to it. It doesn't have a great redeeming quality as far as that it transitions well. It doesn't do a lot of stuff really well. It does have a bit of a finish, but if it's something you not don't really like, is it really that great of a finish?
I don't know. I guess the best thing I can say on this is that you don't throw up as soon as you drink it. So that's probably a good thing. But for $300, I was expecting so much more. It is, I'll give it to this. It is smooth. It is smoother than the first time that I had this. So it's opened up a little bit. <clears throat> but for $300, I was expecting a whole lot more. So let's get into this $7.80 114 proof rye. I'm getting a little more ethanol on the nose now. Still, I think it's got a better nose than this. Okay, so you're getting some of the caramel up front, you're getting some of the oak. For, you know, a lot of people will talk about there's some of that rye spice coming through. There's a little bit of the grassiness coming through right there now. Because a lot of people will tell you, I don't get a whole lot of the grass and herbal stuff on rye, but I'm getting a little bit on this. Getting a little more spice now on the tongue, getting a little bit of the black pepper, some of the rye that comes along with it. It's pretty viscous for, you know, $7.80 <laughs> bourbon. You really can't complain on this, or at least a rye, you can't complain on this. I'm going to come back to this one here. Yeah, just not a fan. I mean, it's a $7.80 bottle. Which brings me a lot better places. This is actually worse now that I drank it on top of that rye. So this does have some of the herbal qualities. You do get a little bit of that grassy note to it. You're getting a lot of the pepper, the rye spice. Uh, getting a nice, you know, it's not burning up my chest. But if I had to put these two just side by side, which I've done now, if I just blinded them, which I probably need to do in the future, because I'm already probably so biased on this one right now, I would take the 114 $7.80 rye that I got here from Old Overholt over this World Whiskey Society. It's got a bit, a bit of more of a finish, more of a Kentucky hug. It transitions better. You get some better flavors. Where this, you get a good mouthfeel. Not a lot of transitioning of the flavors. And then it's just kind of like, eh, I'm here. Yeah, eh, I'm here. And this is 107 proof. I will say it drinks under proof. Not a big fan. So if I had my choice, I'd take this $7.80 rye over this $300 bottle of World Whiskey Society. World Whiskey Society is off of my list. I will never buy another bottle of those. If someone really wants to convince me on something, it'll have to be a pour and it'll have to blow me away because I'm just bitter right now. I'm telling you, I'm bitter. I spent $300 on this bottle and I'm just bitter that it isn't better than this. But other people will, will share in this pain. I promise you that. But, you know, that's all in fun and jest. But Monday evening, this will come out Tuesday. First day of the work week is done. I'm excited about that. Some Monday night football tonight. Got some foods going in the oven right now. Starting to smell good. Looking forward to that. I hope you guys have had an amazing day. I hope your work time's gone fast. Your off time has gone slow. But most importantly, with my $7.80 better bourbon, cheers and God bless. Y'all have a great night.